Now let's look at example six. We want to find the probabilities indicated for a standard normal curve. We have the probability that our z value is between 0.5 and 1.57, and the probability that our z value is between negative 2.55 and 0 0.09. Now when we see this double inequality like this, and we want to find the probability that's between two values, what we'll do is we'll do the same thing we've done for our prior two examples. We're going to look up 0.5 and 1.57 on our Excel document, and then we'll subtract the larger probability minus the smaller probability to get this um, probability of z being between these two values. Okay, so let's go ahead with 0.5 and 1.57 first. All right, so I'm going to go to Excel. We can ignore that stuff that I had for the earlier example. And I'm just going to go into an empty cell and equal norm.s.dist. And I'm going to type 0.5 and true. And we see that that is 0.6462. And let's do the same thing for the 1.57. So equal norm.s.dist 1.57 and true. And now, to get our probability, our larger one is the 0.914. Um, let's go ahead and round it to four decimals and 0.6915. And we'll subtract these two to get our answer. And so that final probability is 0 0.2503. Now let's do our second example. We wanted to find the probability that z was between negative 2.55 and positive 0 0.09. So same idea, equal norm.s.dist, and we're going to put in negative 2.55, true, and there's its probability, and let's do equal norm.s.dist, and 0 0.09 is our second one, and then we want to subtract these, larger minus smaller, and again, I'll just round it to four decimal places since that's what we need in most of our homework. And that gives me a final probability of 0.5305. And there we have it.